What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. That's Mike. I'm Chris. We are in the season finale of Into the Birdlers. Mikey, man, what the hell, bro? What'd you think? Uh, great fights. More information about Sonny and Pilgrim and Sonny's sister's name we get. And uh, the Meridian Chamber. That's right. Very, very cool stuff. So a lot of stuff happened. Let's just get right to the right, right to where we want to talk about. Let's talk yeah, about this chamber. Think? Let's talk about um, uh, Sonny. His name is uh, Sanzo. Yeah. Uh, Sanzo. His sister's name is Kanan. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, a bunch of theories as to who you know is the is the the master his sister. You know what I mean? The that you know what what's going on there? It's freaking. Uh, what's his face? I, I got so much in my head, man. I can't even talk properly, man. Pilgrim, <laughs> Pilgrim tricks Sonny. Well, you know what? Yeah, he tricks Sonny, but he also he also did what he said he would. He took away. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. You know where I'm going with this? Um, I'm thinking. Just shoot did me. What do he, you think? So so Pil- did Pilgrim extract Henry's gift and now has Henry's gift? Yeah, yeah. So that's what happened because yes. because you have Sonny was the catalyst and could activate the pillar or mm-hmm. the machine, mm-hmm. and and Pilgrim said he was the focus. So, so it channeled, and you watched it channel through Sonny's hand into into um, Pilgrim's hand, and then Pilgrim used that power to pull out that thing. That's yeah. insane. It's it's scary. You know what I mean? It's. Listen, let's get into the information about what was probably um, the most important stuff of this Meridian Chamber, which is they the gave us the that, yeah. they gave us the fact that it was 500 years that um, 500 years ago ago they found they found whatever the the pow- they found this the, they this power harness, like you said they, were they able found to the harness. way to harness a power that was discovered. So whatever this dark this this what what they call it what do they call it. Just, 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 it's always like the gift. The gift. They, yeah. they found this energy. I, I assume in the planet, in the Earth, mm-hmm. and they and they made this chamber to harness it. And now that they was the, give it and take it away. They and, right, and that was the undoing of the of society of the world. Yeah. So. Yeah. Real interesting. I'm just maybe that's a maybe that's a possibility we can do a theory video about oh, what yeah. may have happened. But yeah. So so maybe you, we won't get too. Let's not. Let's. How about that then? Let's not get too in depth, but. You know, Mike and I have some theories on on whether or not, you know, what what could, what could have gone down in there. We'll do a little more research and we'll probably come up with a video on that. Yeah. Um, you know, but yeah, so that's what we find out, man. Mike, that's a, that's that's crazy. The, it, we getting so that's the reason the world went down, is because greed. of that. It, it must have been greed. You know, some kind of um, maybe all the only privileged, maybe the only powerful people were able to 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 be able to get it. You know, maybe there was too many. It was almost like a handout thing, like Halloween, giving candy out. You know what I mean to to those who can afford. Um, it's it's um, it's it's scary how powerful Pilgrim is now, though. So now, we, right? So now, well, we know that, right? We, we don't. And, and the thing is, man, what's crazy that we didn't know the full extent of his power initially. You know, she kept saying, Cressida kept saying, he's. You know he's very special. He's very special, and we saw that he can control the gift in in yeah. that way. But we, you know, we he, we still don't know the the extent of what his powers were. Of you know, was that it or more? I feel like it was more. And now he has the gift, the dark version of the gift, or whatever you know, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. You know, we had previously said there might be a light side and a dark side to this gift, and you know, but you know, but Sunny, they say that Sanso, he's he's powerful too. That he has more power than he. Remember, they said he was more powerful than Pilgrim. Well, he has to unlock. He has to unlock more. And the big, the big reveal with Sonny this episode is the fact that he kind of admits to MK two about about he was the one or he was. Well, a I would no. All right, I wouldn't say he yeah. admits to killing his mother. He no, said he, he doesn't was, remember. He didn't say no. He said that he I didn't was deny it, but he didn't dog. confirm it either. He just says he yeah. he kind of left yeah. it as I don't remember, and you know, and the and and you know what killed me about that about this episode too is the fact that you know Beiji was was doing everything he could 
to try and stop what was happening, what was about to happen and go down. Yeah. He ends up getting captured and kind of just like stuck watching it, which sucked because, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't knock Sonny for trying to save his son, you know, but obviously he could have held back a little bit to to maybe, you you know, what could you have done in that situation? But you think, you know, but between, between unleashing, you know, uh, I think so, we know what the right the right answer is, but obviously for Sonny's he did it reasoning because he did, wouldn't want his son to die. Yeah. Now he is he is healed, and um, we have this this monster. So who is going to be the one to to fight against? It's we we've, we've talked about um, how Pilgrim has changed in the last few episodes with the way he, he, um, he acted towards well, Nyx. I, I wouldn't say change. I'd say he was showing his true colors. Well, that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to get to yeah. is the fact that he put his hands on Cressida multiple times and the way, you know, so up until the last two or three episodes, we didn't necessarily know which way Pilgrim was going to go. And it's obviously confirmed that now. Obviously, this, yeah, he's he's because he, he's a big douche, and you know, yeah. So now yeah. everything's kind of changed because their their end game was to get this power. Yes, we get all that, but us as the viewers are like, well, where's this? Where is this going? Are they going to do that? Are they going to do that? And yeah, they did it, and now everything is basically changed. So I feel like everyone's going to go against him. Well, that's that brings to my point of of the widow and Chow. I think that listen in, in, in that scene with, with Chow and, and Minerva and the, the master comes out, Chow's not dead. You know what I mean? It's going to have to be, listen, there's something bigger. And I, I think there's going to be a big, um, you almost get what you well, want. They have, they have to fight. There's going to, there's going to be a, a, com- a combining of Chow and, and widows people. I think there's going to be a combination of this group and that group. And they're all going to have to, to go after, you know, Pilgrim, yeah. I think for well, sure. Well, yeah, I mean, that's why the master woke up. She was the first yeah. scene. She wakes up and she's like, ah, damn, it's on. She, yeah. you know, finds a thing. She finds, you know, she saves. Let's talk about that real quick. Two two major scenes, two really cool scenes where somebody gets saved. One is with Sonny and MK, and the other one is at the end with Minerva. But I want to talk about Sonny and MK. What a sick-ass fight. The f- like it was so intense. That was a that was so intense that fight to me, and the the shots were beautiful. Him spinning through the the sparks and yeah. him getting blasted by MK MK breaking out of the rope. Like it's really showing how MK he's harnessing that power now. Like he's he's still he's still an immature little brat per se, you yeah. know. But it's cool. He's, he it's cool how he was kind kind of trying to teach Nick's. Uh, he calls it the trigger. He's been trying uh, to, yeah, and he, and he tells it. In order not to have to cut yourself, think of something that's the, really the most upsetting painful. And, and, yeah. yeah. And, and, yeah. So it was cool that they kind of hinted at that, and but, she um, mentions Caster and stuff like that, and maybe that'll be her. Well, yeah, I uh, think I think at this point she's going to end up using her trigger. To, it, it's going to be yeah. the, the thing that he killed Caster. Um, but what was cool about this fight was that it was so intense, like I said, and he was literally breaking his neck, which is great because – Hey, look, this is a show where they very easily just boop, they snap people's neck, you know, but this was like taking him like he was tr- he was it was going slow and then he gets taken out by by Pilgrim, which was just so cool. And then he says, hello, Sanzo, you know, like it's like, oh, my God, you know, and he and he's just very matter of factly explaining to him, you know, yeah, yep. you know, your sister came in this and that, blah, blah, blah. But going back to the, the my other point about, you know, obviously the widow being saved, you know, I was like, oh, damn, those like. They just, I just love it. They just did it. Like these two scenes were like, damn, like this was happening until this happened. And you're right. Chow's alive. Uh, Baroness Chow is still alive. And, she, you know, she sees that. And, and the so, mess, the mess is going to have to talk some sense into both of them. And they're going to put she, their guard down for now. Um, also, with, with the widow, it's before even the attack we're seeing a, a different side of her and i we spoke about this a little bit before we started recording um about let's not let me just not throw all my people out there to get mo- slaughtered it's more of let's hold hold off as much as we can while we f- the three of us sneak in using some of these tunnels and whatnot that Gaius knew of so it's it's a different kind of sense about the widow well, you know, here's that the she's thing. taking she's taking the advice well, don't forget. that Lydia and Ren 
um, hoped, f- you know, for her to do. Well, yeah, but I don't think it's as noble as you're making it out to seem. This I mean, is, I, I think it is. I, I look, you know, listen, she look. Give her the benefit using, of the doubt. I don't. She's using Lydia's army and Moon and and them as a distraction. That was the whole point. Use them as a distraction. So they pull. That's that was the whole plan. So they could pull them away from Whitebone, right? That was the name of the the, the palace, yeah. Whitebone, the mansion, and they sneak in. But here's the thing: right before that, she's using. I know you don't think so, but I think she's using Gaius. I think she cares a little bit for him, but she doesn't really care. She'll if if it suits her needs, she'll slit his throat. Like if, for example, if she if, and not only that, I think she's doing it. She's with him just to get back. Like, I feel like at first I was thinking like it's also like to kind of stick it to 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 the Baroness Chow, like oh look I have your brother now. I don't think that you know she's really as as enamored with him as say Lydia and Moon are. However, Chow did taunt her by saying, "Oh well, I guess he chose you because he used to choose all these little girls back in the day, and now you were just the latest one." And and she didn't like that. I get that. So I. You know, so maybe I'm a little more on the fence than I thought about it, but I still think that she's using Lydia, she's using Gaius, she's using Tilda. Like she's probably all using each other in a sense. Well, they really are. And I mean, obviously, Lydia's playing, playing, you know, she's triple agent at this point. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? She's got her Mm -hmm. own agenda. She's fighting for her her Baron's agenda, and she's got an agenda, you know. They they all do. It's Lydia, Lydia said this multiple times because she seems to be the one that she even she even talks to um, Moon in this episode where she says, I was there helping with Quinn's battles and all this kind of stuff. So she's very strategic. She's yeah. been around this kind of stuff. She's all she's given advice to Tilda already. She's given advice to Odessa. She's giving advice to I mean, she's like she's like that Waldo. She's character. exactly. Yeah. You she's, know what I mean? she's very calculating and it's, and it's actually so, really great to see her step up yeah. in that way. She's badass. I mean, listen, without her moon would be dead and moon seemed to be um, okay with that. He kind of closed his eyes and I didn't was, like, yeah, I'm going to tell you, man, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. He was kind of given up. I mean, I guess look initially, initially all he, the one of the reasons why he became a regent for the, for the widow is that he, he figured at least if I'm going to go out, at least I'll go out on the battlefield like I intended. All, well, he wanted Sonny. That was a big well, reason. Well, no, but he did, but he didn't. And what happened was he realized like he didn't want to be – he didn't want to go for vengeance. He didn't want to – he decided not to have it be for well, after Yeah, after the fact. You know, but, but part initially of, but part that was of, the part deal. Of, well, for, no, for the the deal for him, but 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 according to you know Sherman Augustus, if you, if you ever you know see you know him talk about Moon, you know he says I you know it was he wanted he he decided that he didn't want to die alone basically and wanted so he decided to find a way to come back out and that's when you know to join rejoin society as a warrior and if anything go out on the battlefield like yeah. he always wanted to. And that's and then that's when the widow came and it kind of worked out. That was like it worked out for him. Plus he got the ability to hunt down Sonny in the in the meantime. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So um, hey man, you know what? Moon and Lydia they hooked up finally. You know, I, I thought that was gonna be something that was gonna be like going on forever. But you know, the one thing about this show is that the pacing the pacing of this season, you know, whether people like it or not, I think it's 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 moving at a very good clip and. Yeah. I don't feel it's too rushed. I feel like I have questions, and by the next episode or even two, mostly the next episode, to be honest with you, I'm getting those answers, and I like that. And not and then as far as answers are concerned, we're also getting to see things like oh well, Lydia and Moon, Lydia and Moon were dancing around the fact and this and that, and then they just kind of like. But what was really cool. It wasn't just a random encounter situation like oh I want you whatever. It was we might die tomorrow. So, so let's get it on. Let's just yeah. yeah, let's just let's just do this thing and and fall into these feelings and stuff. Um Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look. Yeah. We had a lot of stuff. We had a lot of stuff. The fight scenes again absolutely amazing. Moon's Moon's one man assault was absolutely awesome. The, the music bo- that was playing the music, as the right? shots, dude, the slow motion blades sliding out when he mm-hmm. sh- went to the the shooting the darts to clear a path so he can flip down and run and like man it's just i enjoyed the hell out of it man. i did i enjoyed hey, the, the, the hell out the of fight, it the fights the fights are are one 
part of this show that never disappoint. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? They're and always, they always unique. Try, they're always, they're always Yeah, exactly. I was just going to say it. There, there's always something different. It's not a very – I mean, I think the only thing that's probably a little repetitive, not that I don't like it or not, is – is Tilda's um, like butterfly shuriken thing or whatever that she, because we Back we've wave, seen her. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, thing. I mean it's a badass thing, and I'm not saying that I don't like it in any way, but that's probably the only move that we've seen multiple times that's that's um, that's used. Maybe because it's <laughs> it's uh, it takes care of business. But yeah, the fight the fights, and we mention this all the time. The fights are awesome in this, and and it doesn't um, it doesn't take away from what a great story we have. And you mentioned the fact that. We get we get an, a question. It's answered right away, and I myself don't feel like it's rushed. I think that everything that we've been hoping for in the first two seasons, we're getting in this season, especially in this first. Dude, it's only the first half, right. and we've gotten so much. So I'm looking forward to seeing what else is going to be poured into. Uh, yeah, it's, the, it's the next half. It's going to be it. Look, it's I really enjoy the turn it's taking, and the reason mm-hmm. I enjoy. Yes, it's going a little. It it went from mystical to like, oh, what what is this? What the hell is this thing? What is this power? What are these people? To a little more grounded now, because now it's like, oh, well, we're, we're giving you the reason why the Earth is the way it is. If I mean, I, I assume they're on Earth. That's like probably right? yeah. They, oh, like they are on Earth, obviously. Action. NYC taxi, yeah. right? So obviously, but like, it brought it back down now for mm-hmm. me. Right? Do you, mm-hmm. Don't you feel that? Like now they've grounded it. Yes, it's this weird power, but 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 how, how do we know that that's not a thing? How do we know that there's not a power in the in this earth that in in fifty years or in a hundred years someone will find a way to tap? They're yeah. they're digging for oil, but oh my god, what's this? It's this energy that no, <laughs> and then all of a sudden they can't. That's essentially what it is. It's this energy yeah. that they they tried tapping and controlling that was the undoing of that. There's the demise. You know? I'm so, wondering. I'm wondering what what's going to be the demise in in present time now. Now that this chamber is open, that it's are able they gonna to stop them. Will the people that that have helped Sunny uh, Pilgrim get to this point to uncover this this uh, chamber feel that they they deserve a piece? Yeah, you know, right. right. So is, is there going to be turn an into uprising? Yeah, is right, there going to yeah. be? I can see a lot of that mm-hmm, happening, mm-hmm, and yep. it's it's gonna be it's gonna be intriguing. And I think that that may be a, a way Sonny gets the gift. You know what I mean? Or and unlocks one, his gift. Unlocks like, his. Got one it, one thing I want to ask you, and we kind of touched on it a little bit, is if there's two sides. Is, is it the force? Is it the good side and the bad side? Would you want? And I'm asking you this: Would you even want this gift? It's it's like a burden because yes, you'll have this overwhelming power and this superpower, but we see what ha- what it did to Caster, and we see that the more you use it, the 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 less you'll live, the longer you know, the the less you're you know you'll you'll yeah. survive. You know, it takes it takes a piece of you. Would you want that? Would you want to be able to live like a monster for say? 20 years but you're only gonna live to 50 you know what i mean um no i i actually would want pilgrim's original power which is to to be able to control that to be able to turn that on and off and to have whatever that insight that he had i'd prefer that so when we talk light and dark i i mean i i maybe it's not necessarily light and dark aspects of it but it's a use and control of it maybe we can use those terms instead it's yeah. the use of it's the ability to use it, but then the ability to control it. On the other hand, yeah. you know. So well, I, I, yeah, what about you? I'd probably, I'd probably be on on uh, on the same side as you with the original power that pilgrims that pilgrim possessed. Yeah, the ability to um, kind of turn it on and kind off. of turn it off. Yeah, exactly. Because um, listen, we saw what kind of badass he was before he now, you know, before he has the gift now. He, so, could be, he could be um, literally practically unstoppable at this point. Exactly. Because, you exactly. Know, um, one last question for you and for all of you out there before we wrap this up. Mm-hmm. Uh, is the widow going to get her powers back? And and we I don't... Guess, I mean, I, I guess, don't... I, <laughs> no, well, one thing... Let me ask. Let me answer. Because one thing that I asked you before we were recording was why the widow? Why did the master come to her? Is it because there's something special about her? Is there because... Everybody else is gallivanting all over the place. She's the only one. Um, it's it's hard to say. 
is it is it fighting one power with the same power? Is that how you can defeat him? Is it going to be multiple people? Like I said, with Chow and um, Chow's men, Widow's men coming together and, a, and just a bunch of soldiers going after Pilgrim and then. What is it going to take to kind of bring this guy down now? And I'm not sure. Right, will it take? Right, right. Will it take the widow getting her ability back to do it? Yeah, I mean, will we I, get it's, multiple, it's, Mikey? Will we get multiple black eyes running yeah. around against Pilgrim? Never know. So I think I'm it's saying, gonna have. To, I think you're gonna have to fight fire with fire. So listen, I want I want to save some of this though. You guys can yeah. answer in the comments, but I think I think I want to make a video about that. I think I want to I want to get a little more in depth. Uh, yeah. you know, in the break, we here, have a, so. we have a few different ideas, and you guys, of course, leave um, your comments in the uh, in the section below, and let us know if you have any kind of theories you'd like to hear from us, and and uh, give us some ideas for that. You know, of course, at Third Person Pod, check us out at Third Person Pod on Facebook and on Instagram, and have a listen to us, uh, have a uh, look see of us on iTunes as well. But get those get those um, those those theory ideas in there. We love to. Because we we Let's spoke chat. about this, yeah. yeah we, and, we, and like we I said, we, we want to get a couple of these out. We want to get a bunch of these out. So give us ideas. Yeah, if we agree, you know, obviously if we agree with some of these things, we'll just we'll you know mix them with some of our ideas and we'll make another video about it. And we can you know we can have yeah. an, another cool conversation. But uh, having said all that, uh, once again, thank you for all the support, guys. We, we we love everyone watching these videos. Thank you for all the positive feedback and thank you for being nice to each other in the comments. We really appreciate that. Uh, this first half of, of Into the Badlands was absolutely amazing. Thank you for being on this journey with us and going through this. And and um, with all the bad news coming out of The Walking Dead and AMC right now, it's good yeah. to it's good to have this. Uh, if you're not watching other shows on AMC, absolutely go watch other shows like Humans and Preachers coming back. And you know, um, so those are just you know AMC is a really good channel, and um, we're just happy to have shows like this. So uh, thank you AMC. That's it, guys. Thank you very much. We will see you on the next video for Into the Badlands.